I'm at the foot of Knox Mountain today, where the NSERC Canadian Field Robotics Network is hosting field trials of their latest robotic boats, underwater vehicles, planes, and rovers. The trials are designed to test the capabilities of their latest equipment in unique conditions. The event today brings robotics teams from 20 universities across Canada to collaborate and share ideas. I'm here with the NCFRN, which is the NSERC uh, network in field robotics, and there's myself and many other PIs and uh, some of our industrial partners, and we're testing robotics technology that's been developed in Canada. So the thing out to here today is an uh, autonomous boat. So it's a boat that's a robot, and it operates on the surface of the water, and it measures uh, the depth of the water column, properties of the water column, and builds a representation of the surface above the water using a camera and the depth below using a depth sensor. If we hired the number of researchers that are here, it would cost us millions of dollars. This way, we can learn with them and we can license their, their algorithms. So we can apply it to, you know, to address some of the problems in Canada going forward. It's about collaboration. That collaborative spirit was on full display Friday. Teams with water, air, and ground robots all talked and shared their particular expertise. And so the idea is to help them get more out of the work they do by bringing them together and helping them collaborate. At the same time, we get the industrial guys in here so we can either learn from them what problems they need to have solved or solutions they're looking for or show them technologies that we have they may use and so basically build those linkages between the researchers and between the companies. Some real-world applications of the technologies on display today include the exploration of Mars, monitoring contaminated environments, and determining the threat of icebergs. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.